Alrighty, continuing right where we left off. No intro required. It is Sunday. We have money. I don't know if Parker's open. We're gonna have to check that. Parker is uh, not open until Monday. I think I knew that in the back of my head, but I forgot. So, yeah, it looks like our lovely friend is now powered down, so we gotta feed everything by hand now. But... Before I interact with you, we're gonna drink this potion, make sure my chickens like me more. Little Terra's full hearts. Oh my god. They're the perfect chicken. Oh man, you are gonna be so fat and sellable. Let's go ahead and use our speed boost potion. The time for walking slow is done. Quicken my feet and make me run. Hello, Cataclysm. Here's your food. <laughs> Thank you for the milk. And here's your back scratches. All right, is Perry open today? Yes. Let's go ahead and pick up that request and then immediately turn it in for her. Oh, wait, Zephyr needs five. Oh, that's for Zephyr, and Zephyr needs five gold essence. Whoops. We can still accept it. I've got almost 2,500. I might as well go buy a couple of chickens. Also collect my maple syrup. Where's my second maple syrup? There it is. All right. Hey, look. I need two more chickens, please. Here's your animal. Now, what would you like to call it? Plucker. Plucker. Mm-hmm. I'd like another chicken, please. All right, all right, I'm, oh, she sells for twenty-seven fifty, And that's just to uh, Marty, who won't, like, make food out of her. If I sell it to Kim, I'll definitely be making, like, 3000 Oh, that's perfect. Here's your animal. Now. What would you like to call her? Uh, Meg. <laughs> That's a great name. All right, one more. Why not? Oh, never mind. I don't have enough room. Silly me. I just, you know, I just love the chicken what so much. What is a malcontent anyway? They're not sure I like that. Yeah, it's pretty dumb. You're hundred percent right on that. Speaking of, don't mind my European stuff right here. At least that's what I was told to call them, Feedy. There you hey, go. Feedy. Get to it, Feedy. Oh, it just, it just automatically feeds them for you. Got it. There you go, Meg. Plucker. Oh yeah, they just rank up fast. Alright, potions wise, we've got greater brew. Let's go ahead and make a greater brew of gold, which we can't do. I forgot. Okay. Guess we'll make two more charming potions, because why not?
Uh, okay. Tomorrow we're gonna be buying stuff from Parker. Which means I need the money today so I can head immediately over. Which means, you guessed it, more time in the mines. Here, I'm gonna sell you these candles. You still aren't selling tea leaves. I keep getting unlucky with that. Hey, Sophia. I hope Otto remembers the mistakes he made. Letting people throw around accusations like they're nothing. But I have this feeling that he won't. Well, you better. You don't, you don't deserve anything to happen. Here's some olive oil. Make something good. Well, how thoughtful. I don't make besties, but I just thought you should have it. Maybe Shelby will like some wine. Hey, Parker. Excuse me. Hey, Lena. How are you feeling about wine? Mm. Glad you like it. Oh. You have an event, Parker. What's up? Hi, Parker. Chopping down some wood? No. I've been coming by the woods every so often to see if my favorite flowering tree has bloomed yet. When I was a kid in the city, there was only one tree on our block in front of my neighbor Miss Lovitz's house. It used to bloom pink petals once a year. It was like a miracle on that drab block. I gotta say, I don't miss that concrete jungle at all. Yeah, I grew up by one. I agree. But I was lucky enough to grow up next to a public park. So, I had a little bit of green space, at least. Oh, I had a park like that, too, but come on. No child should have to settle for a tiny patch of greenery when they could have all of nature. I went back home one winter, and Miss Lovitz's house was gone and replaced by a new condo building. They took the tree out, too. See, in winter, it didn't look like much, just some spindly branches. But nothing can be in full bloom all the time, can it? Otherwise, you wouldn't appreciate it. I guess that's true. Take it easy, Terry. You too, man. You stop by your store tomorrow, so you'd be ready to get to work. Everything's closed. Who needs this butter? Of course, of course, Sophia needs this butter. Limes for Angus, for key lime pie. I don't think I have any more things for Juliet. Nope. All right, I tried for a lawn in it. Oh, hold on, let me hide from Otto. No, I'm not. I'm just gonna lock. I'm just gonna lock. You can never be too safe. All right, back looking for that sapphire. <laughs> Goodbye to the music. It was nice while it lasted. Come on, give me a break. Another ruby? I don't need any more rubies, man. Come on. Actual torture. Thank you. Alright, we can just move on to the next floor. Yep, just looking for another sapphire and we're done. We're do we can just look for everything we need only. We don't have to go on a scavenger hunt.
Come on, just give it to me today. Just don't make me work. Don't make me work. I really don't want to work. Coal. More rocks. More rocks. I have so many pebbles in my inventory now. Another ruby. <laughs> oh my god. Actually torturing me. Oh, thank you. Oh, we're done. Oh, we're done. Now I can just go get gold and diamonds. Oh, thank you. Oh, look at that. Perfection right there. All gold stars. Gold for our tools, and we need gold for the essence, and we need gold for special materials. We definitely need more. I would freeze time, but I really don't want to spend all my time down here again. I've been spending so much time in these mines, bro. I yearn for them so badly, but I don't, I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> I need at least 15 gold, and that's a lot. That's not including any essences. And also, is, if, does anybody know if there's a use for glass in this game? At all. I haven't crafted a single thing that's needed glass, so I don't actually know if there's a use for it. Yeah, I'm not, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully there's a use for it before year one. Because you get, you can get the kill, and, oh, a diamond. You can get the kill super early, so it's like, why is there no use for it until now? I'm also going to have to cook myself some stuff, I'm going to be in the mines more, all right. Oh, energy. We got a lot to do. So. But we do need a little... Ugh. We need energy to pick flowers, so we'll have to pick them tomorrow. Any honey done? I'm gonna be picking these flowers tomorrow. No, but my charm potions are done. Yeah, go ahead and make that. Go ahead and use my bumper harvest on it. Got all the gold essence we need. So my cheese is done. Let's take a look. What can I make pretty quick? I don't have any fish for sushi for Kim. Oh, I can make avocado toast, though. Okay. I don't have any avocados! Okay. What's something I can make that's easy and doesn't require a lot of resources, but will also give me energy? Usually a lot of baked goods. Chocolate cupcakes will do it. Pumpkin pie will also do it. But somebody likes that. Tofu can make sushi. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. I'm missing something for it. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. I have to make the tofu. 
But I need soy milk. Uh, it takes a banana bread. Just takes. Oh, I can make a lot of banana bread. Okay, we've got a pumpkin pie. Let's make a, make a chocolate cupcake. Okay, okay. A Danish? Okay. <laughs> Man, we're stacked. Is it time for bed? <sighs> All right. Big day tomorrow. Spending a lot of money, making a lot of money. Remember the Versorium you found for me? Well, you'll never guess what I figured out when I went snipping around that chair from the summer festival. It's the crack of dawn. So, I <laughs> so uh, okay. Uh, last winter, I was running some experiments on that chair. Legend says it's made of the same wood as the one tree. So oh. Didn't that seem relevant before? No, no, because when I tried attaching some magical lodestones to see if I could detect any currents, nothing. But when I tested it with the Versorium, the magical current readings went through the roof. Here's my hypothesis. Those lodestones primed the chair to receive magic. And when you sat in it, boom, the chair brought you right back to that place the lodestones came from. Ravenwood uh, Hollow. Yeah. Ravenwood Hollow. It was an accident, I promise. Can you, uh, can you keep this a secret from Oh, Perry? absolutely. I don't even like Perry. I won't tell. I can see Perry getting really mad. She sure might. <laughs> Love her to death, but yep. Uh, thank you, Tara. Next time you go attaching lodestones to something, oh, <laughs> I won't make that mistake again. Whoa. See you back in Ravenwood Hollow, my friend. See ya. Actually, before you go, I have a- oh wait, hold on. Wait right there. Wait right there. Don't you fucking move. Oh my god, it was only three hours. Oh, you suck. Never mind. Go, go, go about your way. Yeah. Well, that's a disappointment. <laughs> All right, hope that honey's done, cause flowers are getting picked. All our turtle head and tiger lily, all of it's getting picked. Animals are fine for now. Let's just go ahead and head to Parker's. Hey, Bark. Good job for you. The hayfield. Where do I need to be? I could set up a grazing field here. Directly in front of me. You come back and. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take care of that right now. All right, this whole area needs cleared out. Understood, Chief. <laughs> a lot of energy, but it's worth it. We gotta get it done before five, otherwise he's gonna close up shop. Nope, nope, not that tree, you idiot. Pick up the resources. We need that maple tree. this, I would just, uh, use a freeze time potion, but nah. If there was a 
glass. If, if there was a quest I need a thousand, like a fifty glass or something, I'd I'd drop. I'd stop playing. <laughs> I'd be like, I'm done with this game right now. I don't have to fly back to him. I can just run back to him. All right, let's go. Did you get to work, boy? I guess I gotta sell stuff to you before I head over. Here, take my banana bread. All right, it's done. Get to work, boy. Okay, I'll be over there right quick to start on your field. Should only yeah, take you a day or so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get to work. Get the work out there. Finally move this dumb season along. Hey, Kim. Vanessa is so sleek. Like a freaking cheetah. She comes in sometimes for Satan, and I always stare at her clothes. Yeah, they're not my style, but she wears them so well. Maybe I'll have that kind of confidence someday. Um, you act like you already do. I don't think you need that, Kim. Personally, but what do I know? So, Vanessa asked me to come in for a chat because Finn's reading skills are not where they should be. How do I tell her that I just don't have time right now? Or that he reads perfectly fine at home. Uh, you say that second bit, you know, like an intelligent parent would. You wouldn't just say, oh, I, I guess she's screwed. You would just tell her, yeah, he reads fine at home. That's something in class. But really, they're making problems with their kids, but there aren't any. Alright, uh, I don't know how much magical energy I need, but let's see if we can make the winter spell... Ah, no, I need parchment. And I don't have enough energy, so. We're gonna have to drink some wine and head to Ravenwood Hollow. Can't make parchment, no one's teaching me, so. I'm just gonna have to go buy it. I know you're up in Wesley. Hey, like, uh, like, six of these. Here's a little bookshop owner's secret. We can typically order any book, even ones not in our established niches. Very fascinating, my dude. Alright, I've got the gold from Sephir. No, I don't. Gold's still in my house. Uh, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and drink that wine to give us our magical energy back. She drinks it in a red cup? Okay. Alright, very classy, Tara. There we go. Now the winter spell. And we'll just make it for her when we're ready, I guess. Let's see if we can catch Sephir while we're out here. Most people usually hang out on the west side. Just parry today and Ariel. Nobody I care about. Alright, set up. Um, in that case, what are we doing? I guess we can go find a mirror. Closed on Mondays, huh? Juliet. Hey, Juliet. Hey, I'm not trying to be rude, but I don't really feel like talking to anyone right now. No, no, you're you're totally fine. I was just checking in. My bad, my bad. Let's talk to the preacher. Shelby came up to me the other day and asked me if I could point out the pinnacle of self-realization. I told him it was in his mind, and he chuckled and said, No, it's in your mind. What an odd fellow. 
clogging these rights. Self-realization that clog includes yourself, not anybody else. It's a wise old man. Uh, let's talk to the kids. We haven't chatted in a bit. Hemi was mad we couldn't go to the trial, but I was kind of glad. It seemed scary. That's a secret, though. I'm not a scaredy cat. Oh, you're right. It was pretty messed up to begin with to happen. Take it down from there, kid. I'm talking to you. Yeah, there so, you go. So, did anyone at the trial do, you know, magic? I wanted to go. No one did magic. Not so lucky, I guess. Toadstools. Or mandrakes couldn't hurt either. I am overloaded on mushrooms, however. Uh, I guess we can wait around till seven. I also need to dip into wellspring as well. Wellspring seeds as well. And let's go put them right here. And we'll go ahead and also plant our uh, mollies. Our molly. Takes a week, huh? Lordy. I don't get forget to water them. Wouldn't that be inconvenient? All right, we're good to go. Time doesn't pass in the gloaming either. All right, come on, everybody. I gotta wait here, so you better show up quick. There we go. All right. Let's talk. Have you prepared the winter ritual incantation? I have indeed. I have it, and I'm ready to change the seasons. Good. Then let us begin. Witches of the Fairhaven Coven, take your places around the circle. Once again, we turn the wheel of the year. From witches new and witches old, we greet the coming of the cold. We call forth the spirits of quiet. And reflection. We call on the candles flame, surrounded by darkness. We say goodbye to the bounty of the fall harvests. And welcome winter! Oh, it's snowing! I love snow! <laughs> A good sign it is, too. Means the island is in harmony with itself. I'd say I agree with you, Farseer, but... Uh... Belladon is makers, it's coming down hard now. Quick, everyone get home. I don't want to treat any of you for frostbite tomorrow. Okay. Fire vitalizers. Okay. Alright, it's snowing. Sophia's trial. Yes, it was a bit of unpleasant business, but necessary. A bit. We must demonstrate that we are serious about protecting our town. Call that a All bit. Troublemakers will think twice before causing trouble. Oh, Otto. Oh, Otto. Our 
You're so foolish. Upon them, everybody, it's winter. And climate change is crazy. Uh, let's see, how's our cheese doing? Is it done? Yeah, it is. Right, let's go ahead and make more. I ain't wasting all that on grape juice. We can just go ahead and make some more soy milk, though. Uh, I think we got everything we need. I'll make another spile, I guess. For some more maple syrup. Oh, I guess you just can't do it. This tree. We know how these are the same tree. I guess not. So let's collect what I can. It's probably not going to be there tomorrow. Got money for some seeds, so we're at least prepared. And I'm pretty sure Lena's open on Tuesday. Yes, they are. So yeah, we're we're fine. Um, I've not, still got two charm potions. No, no levitation wouldn't hurt. Should I go to bed? Yep. Let's get ready for tomorrow. Very interested in see how the start of the season goes. Oh, a white cape. They were able to get in now. They weren't able to get in last time. The wellspring is getting weaker. Yeah, but we already glamoured it, so they couldn't find it. Oh, shit. Morning, Kim. Hi, Tara. Mrs. Soft has given me the, uh, honor of organizing the Winter Feast this year. See, every household contributes something, and we all gather together for a feast on the shortest day of winter. What a nice tradition. Sophia used to run things, but... Uh, yeah. Well, right. So, I'm making a roast with a shiitake mushroom sauce. I hear shiitake grow in the mine, but I don't do small enclosed spaces. Not at all. Uh, don't worry, I am on it. Thanks. Wait, do I have to bring something to the Winter Feast too? You're a household in Fairhaven, aren't you? Hazel used to make roasted salmon every year. What if you tried that? Sure. Challenge accepted. I'm looking forward to sharing some salmony goodness with the whole town. Oh, if only everyone else in town had that enthusiasm. I hope Kai even remembers to bring something this year. And days. Oh god, yeah, there's a lot of shit going on. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I already got... Oh, I've got yes. over 100. Uh, here they are. Oh, you're my hero. Seriously, there's just something about dark caves where, like, anything could be in there with you. Like bats or wolves. I hadn't actually thought about that, but I will now. So, thank you. Oh, always good to keep a lookout. I use important things. Greetings, neighbor. Every year we have a traditional secret holiday gift exchange. The names have been drawn, and your recipient is Giva. Bring her a gift anytime before the winter feast, and be on the lookout. You have a giver, too. Hmm. How am I supposed to know what kind of present Giva would like? Uh, well, I know what I want to give her, but... <laughs> I know what I want to give Giva, but... How you doing? I want to give her tea. She loves black tea, but I need Kai to start selling it. Pet these chickens. Oh, 
Full turret is primed and ready. Probably get a seller today. Sad, but needs to be done. End of the day, I, I'm not one to get attached to chickens. Hey, chicken little. Alright. Let's head into town. I gotta buy stuff, so. Need flowers and we need a uh, food. So, first things first, stop by Kim's and turn in a little Terra. Hey, Terra, what's up? Oh. I'm packing up a batch of Ikura and ice to send home to my sister and her baby later. Do you usually send a baby fish eggs? Yeah, it's the perfect baby food. All the omega acids for little growing brains. My dad used to make us chirashi bowls with ikura and fresh umi. I'm totally doing the same for my little ones someday. Bet you'll be a great parent. I bet you'll be a great parent. Just we'll have to keep the knives up high. Oh yeah, no doubt. My parents were militant about us staying out of the kitchen after my sister got too close to an open flame and the end of her ponytail oh caught God. on fire. I got to dump a glass of water on her head with no repercussions, though, so <laughs> that was awesome. <sighs> I gotta say, this would be a pretty idyllic place to raise a family. I can see why Hazel chose it. Maybe you came back because you feel the same way. I haven't really thought about that stuff yet. I'm still trying to get the farm in order. Well, I bet when the time comes, you'll be a great mom. If that's what you want. I think so, too. But I'm here for business, Kim. Take a little terror for twenty-eight fifty. Bam! Instantly rich. <laughs> uh, let's see. All right. More importantly, I need to buy crops. And also, God, do you have? Please tell me you have tea. Please, 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 please. Yes. Grow in winter too. Oh, perfect. We'll speed that up, but oh, that's exactly what I needed. Thank you. Hello, hello. I try to make an effort to check in with Sophia every day, so that I can see the question in her eyes. I wish I could make her under. Yeah, you didn't defend her because you suck, bro. I don't need any more fennel. Take uh some onions and spinach and sweet potatoes. Take all that. More sugar, too. She is 100% right. Why didn't you defend her? Alright, we need to make some quick buck. So, first things first, I need you to make me gold bars. You, I can make one. Never mind. Uh, just make me some copper and Take it. Your six silver. Well, we've got enough, but we just don't. We have three K, so we have enough for, um, I have enough for an upgraded tool, but I think the play here is to go get another cow. I think that's the play. Also collect all our fruit. That's ready. And then we can go get the, uh, the farming whirly gig ready again. black seeds ready. I guess we'll make it rain for now. I don't have to get the whirly gig going just yet. Let's 
go ahead and make it rain real quick. Clouds. And let's go pick ourselves up some flowers. Actually, no, no, no. Buy, buy the, um, we'll just fly over to her. That's what we'll do. I also gotta see if Thomas has anything he wants me to buy. Thomas usually has one crop that's unique to him. Do you have anything? You don't, not for winter. There've always been malcontents in those woods, whatever you want to call them. But it doesn't take a genius to see Sophia's not one. I agree. Hello. I would like another cow, please. Here is your animal. Now, what would you like to call it? Cat cataclysm. Matilda. Matilda. Mm -hmm, that. But also white because I'm so dumb a sheep. Here is your animal. Now, what would you like to call it? This can be marshmallow. Marshmallow. That's. All right. All set. They can feed themselves. I've got powered gems on me. Uh, what's? Where was I headed? I can't remember what I was doing. I was heading to violets. I guess I gotta see who in town needs what as well. People might want, need my help getting stuff ready for the festival. Yeah. What about you, Otto? You need anything? No? Okay. Angus, you need anything? It's sweet potato season! Time to make sweet potato dumplings, sweet potato cookies, and sweet potato pie. It may seem simple, but the classics are a real hit at the winter fi- Yeah, I was gonna buy sweet potatoes this week, but I decided against it. Okay. Alright, um... Hey, Bruno. Kim says you're trying out Hazel's roasted salmon recipe. I'm not sure my version will measure up. Ah, don't get your shirt tails in a twist. No one can make it quite like Hazel. I tried it myself, but the way she cooked it, that fish had a real spicy kick. Yeah, speaking of, do you have salmon? You do. I'd like two of those, please. Just so I don't have to work too hard in making this. I guess I need to save a little bit of money, so if you could buy a couple pastries off me, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, take this, it's Danish. Okay. Let's go ahead and plant the flowers. See if we can make a couple more gems. Actually, let's go make the gems first. Always make, make stuff first before you do stuff on your farm. Are you closed Monday, Tuesday? You are. Okay, never mind. We're good. Plant some flowers. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much going to be mandatory to, uh, and robot ready with how many plants I have to take care of. While I'm at it, I might as well make a couple more plots.
I don't have to take care of it, then it's worth it, right? Well, a robot can do that. Speaking of, I'm going to use that bumper harvest on you, especially. And we're also going to see if we can get you going faster than the others. I will need a tea before anything else. And it's only going to be ready in six days. Okay. Another speed time spell. Need some silver essence. Okay. I can't make it. I don't have any silver. Uh, I guess we're good for now. Well, I guess, hold on. We have Crystal Ball Potion. Run a low on paper. Let's go ahead and stock up. It's Planty. Uh, I don't need to power you just yet. Is Woody, we don't care. I guess let's see, what do we need for this salmon recipe? Spinach and fennel. I need spinach for it, so. Is there anything else I need for it? Spinach and fennel. Yeah, we can make that easy. Okay. With all that done. Do a little bit of fishing, see if we can get... That's not what I wanted. See if we can get something seasonal. To the mines. We need more gold and silver, so down here we go. If we can get more diamonds, all the better. Emeralds help too, but they're not good for uh, jewelry, so not really useful. Nobody's asking me for stuff either. Got plenty of wood and stone on me, so I don't know if anybody's gonna need anything. Is there anybody that wants to hang out with me? Cameron. Cameron, Giva, and Francis.
always talk to Sophia tomorrow, see how she's doing. <laughs> no point replenishing energy if we're gonna waste it. Silver essence go in. Is it time for bed? Is indeed. Ooh. New, uh, new morning music. That's cool. And we got our field. Alright, that seems like a good place to call this part. Parker finished our hay field. We're in winter, getting ready for a winter festival. We gotta get a gift for Giva, because she's our secret Santa. We actually have a lot to do. It's pretty nice for a change. So, I'm gonna call it here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.